After building our dream cabin in the mountains, our garage is starting to take shape, but we're running into problems finding concrete. We're just gonna get a bunch of bags, maybe a couple kitchen beaters, and do it ourselves. Luckily, everything else is going very smoothly. Making it work. This is called That's really right scary. Anyway. And we're basically experts now. Trent, what have you learned from plumbing last time? Is that anybody can do it, it just takes a couple tries. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe and come along today as we get to singing. Look at this photograph! I mean, working on our latest masterpiece. <laughs>
ones. Mm -hmm. Which pages do you want? The concrete? Yeah. Yeah, they're right here. The left side, that side over there is 20 in the front, 42. Okay, that's what I was looking 42, for. 42, and then this one's 42 in the back, 20 and 20. Okay. Oh, no. Good morning. Good morning. It's a little nerve wracking. It's the exact same feeling of fear that we get every single time, but we're having our first inspection on building the garage. So the very first thing that needs to get inspected is the shear wall inspection. After we put up all the panels on the walls for framing, um, that needs to get inspected before we can tape all of the, the zip sheathing. And since we have additions on either side, we have a new foundation and footings inspection before we can actually pour the footings, uh, which is scheduled for just a couple days from now. So uh, hopefully everything goes well. The inspector just got here and he's taking a look at everything as we speak. Okay. Yeah, if you guys had a radio channel, then I, you know, that's what I have a face for. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Yeah, Thank you. Appreciate it. So yesterday the inspector showed up. Now he passed our footings because our footings are ready to pour and he partially passed our shear wall inspection. Now what that means is that there was a couple things we needed to fix. There's a couple seams where we needed to throw in some extra blocking and then tie the seams of the actual sheathing into that blocking. A couple spots where our sheets didn't land perfectly, so we need to block those as well. We're gonna get that done, and then we can actually start taping all of the exterior of the building right now that doesn't have tape. <sighs> We're gonna get to work. Yeah. It's that weird in-between season where it's like really cold in the mornings and then you start working and five minutes later it's super hot and you're sweating. So I was just thinking like, oh, I should make these guys some hot apple cider. And now it's like, oh, we should have some ice cold lemonade. <laughs> 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 you know things are not going well on the build when we're getting out the golf practice today. We're not getting out the golf now, we're just moving it. Do you guys still have your league? No, he, last week was the last, the last of the Mohicans. What happened? Did you guys win? You did? You actually did? Yeah. They're gonna send us a medal. What? Trent and Brandon have been in a uh, golf league all summer, and I guess last week was the last week, and uh, they're both pretty competitive, and they're both like pretty decent golfers, and I guess they won. I had no idea. And also, just one more signal that summer's over, and winter is coming. Hey Steve, I was just curious if you were a concrete delivery company, but it kind of sounded like you do supplies. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Yeah. This looks so good. And that was so fast. Thanks. Don't you know who we are? Speedy. <laughs> We've done this once before. Speedy people. <laughs> Well, now there's this trench here, so I like, can't really tape that one last seam. Okay. Dude, Lika's just having so much fun jumping up. Here. I know. Is this like your obstacle course, Lika? She needs an obstacle. Are you happy, girl? Yeah, we should be teaching her how to do some backflips while we're waiting for concrete. I know. Jump up on the garbage cans. On to Rusty. Yeah. <laughs> backflip, backflip. Somersault. <laughs> Climb the ladder. Handspring. <laughs> what? Trent. Making it work. This is called That's really right scary. Right. Do not do that. Be fine. No, it's what? Uh, it's locked onto the road. Can't go anywhere. In like Lego. I'm gonna. Can I, set. Oh my goodness. That is sketchy. Yeah, a little bit. This is the photo of. What not to do. What not to do. <laughs> why, why women live longer than men. Yeah, okay, serious. I mean, the sketchiest part is this crappy ladder that I'm climbing. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly right. A lot of weight on that one rung. Please be careful. Oh my goodness.
Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, Allie. <laughs> So we got one side basically done. We got all the tape on that one side. Really, I just want the tape on those side walls so that when water runs off the roof, it doesn't go into the seams and like make the plywood all bulged out and mm. waterlogged. So we're gonna try and get those taped up, even though those are both gonna be interior walls. They technically don't have to be taped. It's better if they're taped and I'm taping them to waterproof them. Now we're moving on to the gable end. We're gonna try and tape this entire thing today. It will be a little sketchy because we got to tape all the way up there but hopefully it's a quick job. We'll get it done easy and we can do the back. How was that first part? Zero sketch, right? What first part? This whole like lower section. Oh yeah, the only hard part's up there. Nice. Pretty At least it's not that much. It's just a couple pieces. Yeah, I just can't really get up there. You want me to go? Yes. Okay. Yep, that's it. Can't reach it. I can stand on your shoulders. Yeah, might be able to reach it if you do that. One good thing about this time of year is that it's definitely butter cookie season. Can you catch this? Okay. I'm not making it up here. You ready? <laughs> what? The wall halfway between here and the garage. Oh! <laughs> It was a really good throw, it exploded. <laughs> that was a great throw. <laughs> the biggest piece. How's it taste? Fine. <laughs> a dusty. I got more cookies for you if you want to come down. <laughs> Those are for me? Those are for you. Okay, it'll be easier to do the windows with a man lift. You know, it will be easier to do everything with a man lift, but... Actually, it's called a cherry picker. Actually, it's not. It's called a man lift. Mm, fight with the comments, not me. Oh, a snorkel lift, <laughs> a people. A snorkel lift. <laughs> Nobody knows what it's called. I think if you get your hands under the bottom of the frame and just push it up the wall... If I can get it up to my knees, I can get under it. Interesting. Yeah, we got a lot of wood out there. Wood? It's for Joel for next summer. Yeah. <laughs> move it somewhere else. Here, move these. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Good thing there's only two. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice angle. Ooh, nice catch. Look at that. It's a good day. Is it a good day? It's a good day. <laughs> pretty, pretty. 
How mad would you be if it's like totally the wrong size of the window we framed? 59 and an 8. I would be really, really upset with myself. <laughs> That's probably 5 sixteenths in there. <laughs> Got a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, good. Oh, for all the veteran guys that are saying, when it expands and contracts, you're going to have problems. I know. <laughs> <sighs> Look how big that bathroom is. That is one spacious, luxurious bathroom. Very All nice. for you, Russell. <laughs> While the guys are working, I'm actually doing some errands in town and I have to fill up on gas. And that brings me to how unbelievably expensive it has become to fill up any of our vehicles. Inflation has hit all of us so hard and that is why I absolutely love earning cash back with Upside. And Upside is the sponsor of today's video. Upside is an app that lets you earn cash back on everyday purchases. Claim an offer for whatever you're buying, gas, groceries, or at restaurants. Check in when you get there and pay like normal with your credit card to instantly earn cash back rewards. It's that easy. Earn money and cash out anytime through PayPal or straight to your bank account. Upside is free and easy to use, even for me. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or on Google Play and use promo code Trent Alley to get $5 or more on your first purchase of $10 or more. Thanks again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to finish filling up, claim my rewards, and head back to the house. crisp and cool this morning in like a nice way and then it was hot and now it's getting cold like it's gonna rain like ominous not my favorite type of cold we're back to hot apple cider hot lemonade hot lemonade <laughs> that sounds <Terrible>. disgusting <laughs> it is cold I think it feels great I think it feels great too <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. All right, well, we got three sides of the garage fully taped. Uh, one thing that I do like have a lot of anxiety about is doing the eaves on the back of the house. Like we decided mm -hmm. we're going to get a man lift, do the eaves on the front of the house probably next week. But the back, like we can't get a man lift back here. We're gonna have to come up with some really creative ways to build those eaves. Huh, yeah. Frank? Huh, Frank? It's like, I'll do Frank's it. giving all the hugs I'll today. Get up there. All I'll the get up hugs. there and do the eaves. To be scratched. Oh. I'll do the eaves. Yes, Frank. Yes. Yeah, Frank will do the eaves. <laughs> Hi, I'm just trying to order some concrete for delivery. All of our customer service reps are currently assisting other customers. We're doing it again. We're ordering concrete. Leave it all, leave it all. Can you do is probably just call back. Oh, it's uh the problem is the area that we're in. So obviously we're up here in the mountains and this is like a remote area, but there is incredibly large amounts of construction in this area. Like it's astronomical. And the reason for that is like, I think because of the pandemic, it pushed a lot of people to Utah and it pushed a lot of people out of the cities. And so now that there's so much construction in this area and everybody's kind of spread out, these concrete companies only have, you know, a certain number of dedicated trucks for these areas. And guess what? The spots fill up every single day before I can even talk to anybody. And I don't know what to do. Like the guy said, you can just try and call back Monday because it's Friday. But that's what the guy said yesterday. Just try and call back tomorrow. It's like, I can call back every day and never get concrete. Like, I don't know, there's no course of action. It's so discouraging. I'm like so deflated. I don't know what to do. On top of that, we are suddenly having monsoon season in Utah. So not only do we have no concrete, but we have these huge open trenches that for the last couple of days are just getting torrential downpour. 
I'm a little nervous to go see the condition that they're in this morning. I mean, the biggest problem is that we have these huge walls on our trenches and then giant mounds of dirt on top of them. So like the fact that they could slough in and fill one of the trenches and our forms are in the bottom. So we can't like dig them out easily could be an absolute utter disaster. And uh, the longer we have to wait for concrete, the more likely it is that that's going to happen. So, but it's Friday. At least it's Friday. You feel festive? Feels pretty folly. Look at that. You can almost eat them. You're Martha Stewart. Look at you go. All right. Two boxes of leftover parts and tools that we need plumbing. You got any concrete up your sleeve? Fresh nope. out? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> I wish I did. We're just gonna get a bunch of bags and uh, an electric mixer, maybe a couple kitchen beaters, and do it ourselves. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> it will literally take like 700 bags. <laughs> 7,000 bags. It would take like it 10. Was, it would be so much. Bags. One million bags. One million bags. <laughs> the good news is, I don't know if you got the level of rain that we got here last night remember it even raining at my house. Really? Yeah, pretty heavy. But uh, the trenches survived, which we were so concerned last night at like midnight when it started to rain for like the third time really heavily. Trent was like, there's gonna be no trenches in the morning. They're gonna have totally caved in. And they still are here. Yeah, they survived. They survived. Look at the mess in that trench though. Freaking mess, dude. It's not excellent. Hi. Hi, little girl. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to focus on our concrete woes today. If we get a call back from one of the companies, that's awesome. But for now, we're just going to redirect our attention uh, to Trent and Brandon's favorite possible part of any build, plumbing. There's a drip up here. Where? One of the roof seams, maybe? No. How bad is it? It's just like a little, little drip, wet spot. Okay. Dipper. All right. Little dipper, not a big dipper. Yeah. Okay. Little dripper. Little dripper. <laughs> All right. We ordered the very last man lift that was available in the entire county. We're going to pick it up in a couple days. In the meantime, we're going to start plumbing this bathroom. You know what you need? I've got a mark here. Is a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, right. I freaking <laughs> hate pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone thought this on their own, but Trent is Ebenezer Scrooge. More like Scrooge meets the Grinch meets Eeyore. That's not very nice. <laughs> But cuter. Thank you. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> All right, so here's our toilet. That's gonna be center of our toilet flange. 36 inches is probably like a pretty legit. It's like very plenty of, plenty of space, very spacious. We should probably talk a little bit about like the overall design theme. I know we've talked about like layout and like where furniture is gonna go, but is this gonna be like hunting lodge, casino royale? modern, contemporary, farmhouse, chic. Like what What are you imagining in here? Um, I'm gonna let you pick everything. Really? So you don't have me to blame. Really? When you don't like it. All right, you heard it here first, guys. I get to pick it all. <laughs> That's our toilet flange. Okay. No, we don't have the proper elbow to connect it. But that's okay. This is Something that we're using down there. Oh. What are you? Bent stack. We got two of these. D. Long sweep handy. Not there, maybe. Over here. B. The P. Trap. After yeah, having plumbed the house, the biggest tip I can give anybody that wants to try plumbing on their own is use primer before you glue fittings together and keep all of your receipts, every single one of them, over by fittings, but then keep the receipts so that you can return anything you haven't used 
or in our case, uh, you can keep track of what you've bought and what you still need to go buy. Whoa! <laughs> First hole of the garage. Hopefully the last one for a toilet. <laughs> I hope so too. There it is. Didn't even lose the bit. That's a far way down there. It's a little colder down there. Is it? How's she fit? Pretty good. I need that to fit in there. Uh. Dang it. We need more than hopes and wishes for us to make it through the night. Woo! Too big. She looking good. If that was too big and that was a problem, I'd be so mad at you. <laughs> Trent, what have you learned from plumbing last time? Is that anybody can do it, it just takes a couple tries. <laughs> oh, that's teal, baby. It's like seafoam green. Mint. It has begun. Uh... Looks like a submarine spout. Thank you. <laughs> Telescope. Earth. Telescope. The telescope, yeah. What is that called? It's not Periscope. a telescope. Periscope. Periscope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that glue is good enough. That'd be a real bummer if this is the the leak point we end up with. This is on the toilet? Mm hmm A literal bummer. That looks pretty, that looks like pretty good <laughs> solid goo all the way around. Do you remember on playgrounds they used to have these things on like opposite sides of the playground? You'd like talk into mm -hmm. them? Hello! Yeah. <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> Probably this exact stuff. Yeah. Can you see my green goo? Oh yeah, <laughs> I see it. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you being a good girl? Hi! You're crazy. He bought that pipe for that much. Of for it. that much of it. Yeah. It was either that or a ten-foot stick. Oh my for goodness. For that much of it. How are you in a t-shirt and a beanie right now? It's hot. It's hot. I'm freezing in here. Warm-blooded baby. <laughs> you know they have special tools that remove these little burrs. Oh, the It's called your fingers. But if you're a real man, you need to just use your fingers. <laughs> like to see you do that on copper. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Use my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How we laugh this sucks, man. You don't love this? It's cool. <laughs> I could do this every day. <laughs> you might have to. Yeah, I might have to do it for a few days. Powder! Look at that! You got a mile to spare there. Are you not supposed to go all the oh, like on the edge? Yeah. Yeah, that is tight. Okay. Try to pull it out as one. Oh yeah. You need gloves, bro. Closet flange in here and stand on it so it doesn't move. Here she goes. Push, twist, right there. Pop it. Flick it. <laughs> We're concentrating here. <laughs> Sorry. It's too short. Oh, here we go. Oh, she's perfect. You're just gonna have to be handing us stuff. You're the, you're the gopher. You're the beaver. I'm the gopher. What's Brandon? He's a... Joel's the mole. <laughs> Brandon's a badger. Brandon the badger. Yes. We got the whole team.
Fajar! 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 This thing is bent. We've got Poop Shoot 2000 <laughs> on here. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have any claws. Look at this photograph! Every time I do a place in life. I don't know how apparent it is to you guys, but the glue is definitely affecting these two. So I brought down, look We're at fine. you, We're you're fine. fine. You're having a great time, that's for great sure. <laughs> well, I brought a couple snacks, some brownies and goldfish in case uh, you need something in your stomachs to absorb whatever you're feeling yeah, right feeling now. I'm feeling a little sick <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Good girl. Frank, sit. Stay. Yeah, sit. Good girl. It was a bad throw. It's my right hand. I'm gonna do it again. It was a bad throw. Oh! Right in the lip. All right, third time. Third time's the charm. This is also my right hand. Maybe I need to do it left hand. Pull it, rocking it, and rocking it. Okay. Rocketing it into my mouth. A lob, soft lob. Oh, <laughs> that's way worse. Just throw it up. Okay. Just throw it at me. There, <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, try again. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Excellent! Yar! 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 Alright. I didn't help way too much glue today. <laughs> but. You're telling me. And we're like in a big open space. It's like this open. It's not even like we're in a basement. I feel like when we were in the basement doing it, it was never way even... worse. Really? Mm -hmm. Way worse. Maybe it was too cold for me to remember. <laughs> Anyway, we got... I'd like to blame Nickelback on the glue, but I feel like that's just you. 50-50. <laughs> so we got our toilet drain mounted, and the vent is stubbed up through the wall. Mm -hmm. We basically just have to do the sink drain, which is gonna wet vent. It's gonna drain into the vent for the toilet, and then that vent has to go straight up. We still gotta do the shower. We got our uh, kitchen sink is gonna be caught by that pipe right there. Okay. Basically, we're on our way, baby. I'm really excited. We got a lot done in this video today. We did get, you know, maybe like a third of the plumbing done, or at least as far as the drain line goes. So we still got quite a bit more to do and we'll probably do that in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys. On the next one. On the next one. Adios. Running down the same road, like so many times before.